Joining me now at the Goldman Sachs Builders and Innovators Summit, Drew Houston, CEO of Dropbox. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. That was great to chat with you. Um, so as Tyler mentioned, some of the AI halo, um, at least in public markets, has been starting to fade. You've participated in a bit of that halo as well. Dropbox is actually outperforming the broader cloud ETF. You guys have been releasing AI tools to your paying subscribers this year. What's been the uptake? What are they using them for? Um, to solve new problems. So last week we launched uh, a new product from Dropbox called Dropbox Dash that does AI-powered universal search, and we launched an open beta. Um, and what we're finding is that in the cloud world, um, folk, there's, people have issues just accessing and finding their, their stuff. And Dropbox Dash goes beyond syncing your files to organize all your cloud stuff so you can search your Google Docs and your email and your Slack and your Salesforce all from one place. Right. Um, so we see a lot of excitement around that. And when Dropbox sort of began, it began more as a consumer-facing company, but over time you've pulled in more enterprises. Mm -hmm. Have your AI tools allowed you to broaden your reach in the enterprise space? Yeah, because uh, the enterprise, well, companies of all, all sizes are figuring out, okay, how do we make AI useful? How do we deploy it securely, um, preserving privacy and a lot of the basic considerations? And then we find that everyone has a need that tools like ChatGPT are powerful, but there's a lot of questions that ChatGPT can't answer because right. it's not personalized. It's not connected to your stuff. So um, we see a big opportunity for Dropbox to provide that for enterprises, to make their data useful, to be able to engage with it conversationally. Things like Dropbox Dash enable right. that. At the same time, some of the mega caps that are well capitalized and already have this large consumer base of customers mm -hmm. like Microsoft, like Amazon, like Google, they're building similar products. Mm -hmm. What's the Dropbox proposition to enterprise to use your platform versus the Microsoft? Yeah, that we cover everything. We're platform agnostic. So it's certainly true there's a lot of different AI functionality being built in all these places, but it's typically siloed. So then you know, you end up with like a lot of different agents and no one's, none of them can really access the bigger picture. And so that's um, what Dropbox has done since right. the beginning. We've helped organize everything across all platforms, across all devices. Um, so agnostic. With AI. Yeah, is platform agnostic. Um, I know that it's still early days, but what are you seeing so far in terms of IT spend? Mm -hmm. Companies that are using your AI tools, is that on top of IT spend that they're already doing or is it in addition because Gartner had some estimates that says that we're actually not going to see overall spend on IT mm -hmm. grow it's just going to shift yeah well, I think there's two things going on at the same time I mean first companies are finding ways to do more with less and um, being more efficient with spend in all kinds of ways and so that's something that's been happening certainly over the last year um, and then secondly companies re recognize there's a lot of potential to unlock with AI and it can make their team a lot more productive um, and it's a lot more uh, efficient or a lot, it's a lot cheaper to give people new superpowers with these apps or with software. Right. Software is a lot cheaper than, than growing your team. So I think um, both things are happening, And but yeah, it'll take a while for AI to really pick up or, or show up in the PL. Right. Well, we look forward to checking in with you again in a few months. Drew, thanks so much for chatting with us today. Thank you.